Hello everyone, my name is Kitana and today I'm very excited to guide you through the setting up of SDXL on your Supermicro Gaudi 2. SDXL stands for Stable Diffusion XL. It is a cutting edge generative AI model that creates stunning images from text descriptions. It's like magic. The model uses a process called diffusion to add and remove noise, transforming your text into high quality detailed images. Let's dive in and get you set up with SDXL so you can start creating your own amazing images. Let's go. Here's an introduction to the Supermicro Gaudi 2 AI server. Here's what we'll cover in this guided tutorial. For this tutorial, we'll be using the Supermicro Gaudi 2 AI server, Ubuntu 22.04, Intel Gaudi software suite, Stable Diffusion XL base model, Optimum Habana GitLab, and at the end, we'll do a demonstration of the web GUI we've made. Some of the prerequisites include downloading the model from Hugging Face prior, setting up the Habana Labs PyTorch virtual environment, and then being familiar with Gradio's UI. Let's get familiar with our system. Here we have Supermicro's landing page for Gaudi 2. This is a game-changing AI accelerator that's reshaping the landscape of machine learning and deep learning in AI. It delivers exceptional performance, energy efficiency, scalability, versatility, and cost effectiveness. Please refer to this link to get all the specs on the server. We'll be using one GPU on bare metal. The first step is to check the drivers and software that you've downloaded. We're using HL SMI. We've currently got the latest available version for hardware and software drivers. Let's check out the documentation for Intel Gaudi. This is how you'll get started, where you'll be downloading files from, and also any supporting elements that you'll be needing. For instance, our example, we'll be using the Habana Labs virtual environment. Let's take a look at the architecture. In this page, it'll show you the processor diagram. This gives you a bit of an overview of how that will look. Our focus for this tutorial will be the Intel Gaudi software suite with the PyTorch virtual environment. To install the virtual environment, which we've done previously, you'll need to go to this page. You'll need to go to the software stack and driver installation. Install the installation script from the vault via the command line. Once installed, you will be able to get PyTorch running. And in just a moment, we will do that together. Here's some more details on how to do so please refer to the website. Let's use the postfix SDXL demo to name our virtual environment. Once we've done so, let's run the installation script for Habana Labs installer. Be sure to click yes so that we can install all of the required packages. We'll skip ahead. Once installed, Activate the virtual environment using source Habana Labs VENV SDXL demo slash bin slash activate. Now that the virtual environment has been created, let's change directories to the SDXL demo directory. Currently, it's going to be empty. Go to Hugging Face Optimum Habana's GitLab repository. We're using the latest branch release tag. Note that the main branch is their development branch. Here we're going to be installing on bare metal. So let's use the latest stable release. Copy this over. Go back to our environment. Do the installation. Note this is sped up for efficiency. Once installed, let's try out the next step. We'll be asked to clone this repository, change into the Optimum Habana directory, and then update to the latest stable branch. Let's check out the directory structure. Okay, back to the next step. We need to install the dependencies, and then we need to change directories to the example folder and run a requirements script. Let's check out the examples folder. So we'll want to go into examples, 
And then we're looking at SDXL, so that's stable diffusion. Note the directory path is optimum Habana, examples, stable diffusion. If you scroll down, there'll be several examples for you to look at. We're going to be working with the SDXL example. Be sure that you have already pre-downloaded the stable diffusion model and know where you've stored it. We'll be using a similar script, but with Gradio. Change directories to the examples stable diffusion folder. This is where we'll run the requirements text file. Once installed, we can install deep speed. For time's sake, we're going to skip ahead. Now with everything installed, let's check out the bare bones directory from GitHub. This is what you will originally start with. Let's install the scripts that our team has created. I've installed the scripts off camera. We'll be looking at the SDXL demo, which is the script with Gradio and then the SMC logo. Check out the Gradio website. This is a common and simple way to build and share machine learning web applications. We're going to look at the quick start guide. We're going to copy the pip install Gradio, change to our environment, run the installation. Now that everything's installed, all we have to do is run the script. It's important to note that for an HPU, graph compilation may take some time. The first few iterations may take long. However, once the graph is able to compile and run after the first attempt, it'll be saved in the local cache. So the next time when you run, it just loads the graph. As you can see, it's noted there that it will take the first or second time that we run this. Enter your credentials, and now we've created the web GUI. Here you can enter in a text prompt. We're going to use one of the examples, a cute cat. It has a large step size, so it will take a little while for it to render. Note that the seed and step size is already pre-allocated for our examples. There's our cute cat. Let's go through the rest of the examples. The jellyfish examples has a smaller step size, so this should render a bit quicker than the cat did. And it does, that was really quick. Okay, so as the examples progress for this demo, we're gonna have a larger step size. So that means that the generation will take just a little bit longer each time. When you use a smaller step size, as we saw with the jellyfish, it will render in a shorter amount of time. In this demo, we've shown how easy it is to get started on accelerated AI processing using Supermicro's Gaudi 2 and the SDXL model. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or want to learn more about Supermicro Gaudi 2, feel free to reach out to Supermicro Technology Enablement. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content from our team.